Welcome back to our channel and welcome to yet another statue-esque rewind where we take you through our journey planning modern multicultural weddings, all right? But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Faye Shala. I'm the owner of Statuesque Events. We plan weddings all along the East Coast, like literally from New England down to Florida, we've done it. And we love, love, love infusing culture and a lot of luxury into our weddings. So make sure you stay tuned for more on that. But for today, we are walking through Veronica and Sahan's Mexican and Sierra Leonean wedding, which took place in a mansion right here in the DC metro area. Guys, it was so beautiful and we loved working on it. So first of all, we met them because Veronica is a fellow Penn alumni. She went to the University of Pennsylvania, just like me. And while we didn't know each other there, we met at a networking event and we just connected. And after that, she chose to bring me on as her wedding planner, which was awesome. It was a great chance to serve them. And honestly, I go hard for my school. So of course that was a joy. But yeah, the wedding day was beautiful. It was on a crisp fall day in October and took place in Mount Airy, Maryland, specifically at Mount Airy Mansion. The day was beautiful and the color scheme was burgundy and greenery. So of course we came in our burgundy and greenery well, really burgundy dresses, right? Myself and my assistant, we had a great time planning this beautiful wedding and it was packed with lots of culture. So let's take you through the whole day. First, in the morning, we went to Veronica's hotel just to make sure she was doing good and she and her sister were up early on time to do their hair and makeup in their suite. Unfortunately, the elevator broke, so we had to carry all of her belongings down over 20 flights of stairs, but we made it out and still made it to Mount Airy Mansion on time for her to continue getting ready and meet up with the bridesmaids. One big thing of note is that the wedding ceremony was starting at 11, 11 a.m. That's the bride's lucky number and that's when she wanted to get married, which was a, it was fun, but generally weddings start in the evening, like let's say four, five, six p.m. So starting at 11, 11 required a lot of logistics, but guys, we were up for the challenge, all right? So we got there, tables are being put out, linens, everything's being set up, and it was great. The florals were being set up, and thankfully it didn't rain. Um, there was a 50% chance of rain, but thankfully it didn't rain, so we were able to set up for an outdoor ceremony. All right, so before the bride and the groom walked down the aisle, they wanted to say a prayer together, and we call this a first touch, which means they didn't see each other before they went down the aisle, but they did get to hold hands and pray. Um, and that was a beautiful moment. Veronica was in tears the entire time. Um, it was a beautiful moment just for them to realize like, God, like in a few minutes, we're gonna be husband and wife. And we definitely encourage this for people who don't wanna do a first look, a first touch is, is great as well. Um, it lets you at least have that private moment together before the wedding really like takes place. So everything was going well, but one thing of note is that one of the bridesmaids sent me an email letting me know that she was gonna be working the night before in New Jersey, right, in a whole different state. And that she booked her flight for her train ticket and that she was gonna make it on time. And I didn't have anything to worry about, which, you know, I was nervous, but I said, cool. On the wedding day, about 35 minutes before we were supposed to start, the bridesmaid arrives. So I said, great, she's here, no need to stress. But after I go downstairs to check on everything and I went back to the room, I was met with a group of silent bridesmaids and the bridesmaid who just got there was in tears. Her husband was supposed to bring her bridesmaid dress and forgot it at home in New Jersey. <laughs> and at this point, we are less than 30 minutes to the start of the wedding and she doesn't have a dress. Um, so she's of course devastated. She put in all this work to try to make it on time. Um, I, I guess she couldn't get out of being on call. She was in healthcare and she was devastated. But eventually we figured out, do you know what? The dress that I was wearing was pretty much the same color as the bridesmaids dresses. So. I literally took off my dress, gave it to her, and put on a totally different dress, a blue dress that the photographer had in her car, and we just kind of went through the day. And guess what? Ceremony still started on time, guys. At 11, 11 sharp, we started the procession with the groom coming down the aisle, and the bride was watching upstairs, and she told me how happy she was later on that, you know, she saw the procession starting at 11, 11, and how lucky she felt that we were able to start on time like exactly on her lucky number, right? Even with all the chaos, we were able to start on time. And th that bridesmaid looked pretty good, okay? Um, so I'm gonna show a picture of her in her dress in line with the other bridesmaids. All of their dresses were different styles, so she actually fit in because everyone's dress was tied differently and the colors were very similar. So everything went on smoothly. They had a beautiful, tearful ceremony. Um, the emotions were like, on like, on 10. It was beautiful to see Veronica and Sahan like just in so, 
just in love and just getting to, to see and feel their love was beautiful. And after that, we took a few photos and we moved on to cocktail hour, which had, guys, this makes me so excited. We had a mariachi band, okay? I love mariachi bands. I think they're so much fun. And so we had a mariachi band play. Some of the guests, you know, were dancing. They were enjoying themselves, dancing to the mariachi band songs. Like, guys, it was a really, really good time. After that, of course, we went inside. We enjoyed the rest of the dinner and dinner was a mix of Sierra Leonean and Mexican food, all right? So there was jollof fries, there were quesadillas, all right? There were different kinds of things for people to enjoy to blend both cultures and it was really great. And during the reception, you know, there were entrances, the bride and groom did their entrance, of course, first dance. And there was lots of dancing and the reception was over pretty much close to sunset. Before we left, we made sure that we had a bubble exit, which was so much fun. So everyone was given bubbles and we lined everyone up in two lines in front of the mansion. And as the bride and groom came out in their second outfits, which was their Sierra Leonean outfits, everyone blew bubbles just to wish them well as they did their exit. And it was absolutely beautiful. So guys, it was full of fun, full of beauty. It was a beautiful day. There was no rain. So guys, we have a lot of good luck with rain. <laughs> there was no rain as anticipated that day. And best of all, they had the beautiful wedding that they envisioned. So Veronica and Sahan, thanks so much for choosing us to be your wedding planners. Thanks for allowing us to share in your joy, in your love, and also in your cultures. It's always a pleasure for us. And guys, Make sure that you stay tuned. If you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to this channel, all right? Because as you can see, we've got more videos coming all the time. And I want to make sure you don't miss any of it. There's none of these weddings, there's none of this culture, and any of this luxury that we're going to be bringing your way, all right? So thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.